Okay, so welcome back to this course. So in the previous section, we have learned all about authentication and users. And now in this section, this is also a very small section in which add all the routes related to the orders. Okay, so we will only handle the back end first of all for the orders, and then we will move on to our front end and we will handle the front end uh, in the React basically. Okay, so in this video, first of all, I want to create the model for the order. So I'm going to type in here order dot js so first of all let's import the mongoose require mongoose and then simply cons order schema equals to uh, mongoose dot schema and let's first of all Type in here module dot exports equals to mongoose dot model and let's type in here order and then the order schema all right and first of all I'll basically have to handle the handle the shipping info of the order so shipping info Alright, so in the shipping info, we first of all have to get the address that is type string, and then we have also the required to true. The address, then we also have to get the We also have city then we have here the phone number then I have here the postal code then I have the country so I want to get all this information from shipping info and then we have the user that has placed the order so simply user so type first of all that is mongoose dot schema dot types dot object id and then i have here required to true and reference will be the user and after getting the user we also have to get the order items all the products that user want to buy in this order so that will be an array of all the order items so first of all each item contains the name and that is type string required true uh, then I have the quantity like what is the quantity of that product the user want to purchase and that is that is number then I have the image of that product and that is string and name quantity image and the price of that product and then the product itself the reference of that product so i simply copy uh, this from here this one so reference is product product like this all right so the shipping info user order items this is an array and then we have the payment info so
we have to get the id that is type string now this is the id of the stripe uh, we are going to use stripe to handle our payments when when user completes its payment then stripe give us the id of that transaction and also the status of that transaction we, it give us a lot of information but i only want to store the id of that transaction and the status of that transaction that also has type string okay so this is the payment info then after that i have the items price so that is going to be type number quite true and also give here the default value uh, default only that is 0, 0.0, 0. Uh, this is like the total price of the items only like if you want to buy an apple that cost three dollars and if the quantity is one then the items price will be three dollars okay then we also have the the tax price like what is the tax that we have to pay so control c paste in here so that is tax price and we are going to calculate the tax price and then also we have shipping price on the front end then we'll add uh, the front end functionalities so right now just put in here shipping price basically if the user has bought the products that has price greater than hundred dollars then the shipping will be zero but if the price is less than hundred then the shipping will be twenty five dollars and this all stuff is related to the front end so items price tax price shipping price then a total price so total price contains all the items price plus tax price plus shipping price all right so that is total price that user have to pay and after that we have to save let's put in here basically paid at and that is type date so on which date the user has paid the amount right and then we have to also type here order order status and the order status is also string so i simply copy uh, this from here so type string required true and by default by default it will be processing so by default the order status will be processing and then we also have to save the delivered ad that is also type of date that on which date the order is delivered and then we have the created ad type is date and default is date dot now okay uh, that is delivered all right so our model is now ready for the order simply save it and now in our next video we will basically create our first order and save that order in the database okay so i will see you in the next video